Hello, second graders. I'm here to read to you our read aloud for today. It is titled, Lola and Tiva, An Unlikely Friendship. Remember that our essential question of the week is, how do we care for animals? Read about a girl who cares for her pet rhino. Wow, that is a really unusual pet. A pet rhinoceros? I'm interested already to learn how this girl got a pet rhinoceros. Let's read together, and while I read, be thinking of the question, how do we care for animals? How does the girl care for her pet rhino? As I read, I want you to be thinking of our comprehension skill for the week, which is identifying key details in a nonfiction text. As I read, be thinking of what are, do you think are the most important details from this story? My video is going to go away, but you will still hear my voice, and I hope you enjoy this story. There is a very special place in Kenya, Africa, called the Liwa Wildlife Conservancy. Liwa is a large place where animals roam free, and people, called rangers, watch over them. A young girl named Tiva lived there with her family. Her father worked for Liwa. Everyone at Liwa knew that Tiva had always wanted a puppy, but puppies were not allowed. Instead, the people at Liwa found Tiva a different kind of friend, a young black rhino named Lola. Lola seemed to work just as well as a puppy for Tiva. Lola and Tiva became the best of friends. This is their true story. Lola was born at Liwa to a mother that was blind. For a couple of days, Lola drank her mother's milk for food and stayed close by. But when she was strong enough to walk, Lola wandered off to another area of Liwa. Her mother could not see Lola walking away. Without her mother to feed and protect her, Lola was in danger. There is a photograph with a caption, and the caption reads, Animals roam free at Liwa. Lola needed food and could become a meal for a lion or another hungry animal. She could not find her mother and her blind mother could not find her. The rangers who worked at Liwa searched for Lola. When they found her, they brought her to a safe place in Liwa that was near Tiva's house. There, Lola would be out of danger. Tiva was excited when Lola arrived. She wanted to take care of Lola. Like any baby, Lola needed many things. Most of all, Lola was hungry and needed milk. Tiva learned to feed Lola. Lola drank a bottle five times each day. Each time, she drank over a gallon. That's a lot of milk, second graders. Tiva loved Lola. Lola was a lot like a big puppy. She tried to climb things, she licked things, she smelled things. Like most pets, Lola never posed when Tiva tried to take pictures. She wanted to nap. But Lola did like for Tiva to pet her between the ears. And you can see there is a picture and caption of them at the table. And it says Lola begged at the dinner table. So she's begging just like a dog would at the dinner table. I see a stop and check on this page. It says, ask and answer questions. How was Lola like a big puppy? Go back to the text to find the answer. So how was this pet rhino like a big puppy? Of course, rhinos are not really like dogs. They don't eat dog food. When Lola was about five months old, she started to eat like a real rhino. She ate shrubs, twigs, and leaves. Her upper lip is shaped like a hook and can grab onto food. Lola could wrap her hook around sticks and leaves, but she still loved to drink her milk too. Rhinos in the wild are usually shy. They often run away if they see or smell people. Lola was too young to be afraid of people. Tiva and the rangers became her family. A baby rhino is called a calf. A calf usually stays with its mother for two years. The mother watches over her calf. 
Lola needed someone to look after her. Tiva became Lola's special friend. Like a pet, Lola needed special care. Tiva helped pick bugs off Lola's body. The bugs could make Lola sick. In the wild, birds eat the bugs off of a rhino's skin, but birds would not do that for Lola. There were too many people around. Lola also needed to take baths, mud baths. When a rhino rolls in the mud, it is called wallowing. It is an important part of being a rhino. The mud protects the rhino's skin from the sun, like sunscreen. Once the mud dries, it also keeps bugs from biting. Tiva made sure Lola knew how to wallow. It isn't as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of practice. A rhino does not have to wash the mud off. A little girl does. Lola and Tiva shared their days together. Lola learned about being a rhinoceros. Tiva learned about being a friend. It was a lot of fun, and it wore them out. Now, Lola is almost full grown. She is too big to play with Tiva like she used to. But the time they spent together will always be special. After all, a little girl never forgets her first best friend. And there is another stop and check, second graders, at the bottom of this page. It reads, ask and answer questions. How have Lola and Tiva changed? Go back to the text to find the answers. So over time, the rhino and the girl have changed and grown up. How have they changed over time? As you think about that, keep in mind any of the key details you thought of while reading the story. And tomorrow, when we work in our comprehension notebook, we will write down our key details from Lola and Tiva, an unlikely friendship. I hope you enjoyed this story, second graders. Have a great afternoon.